Here we go guys, I am back. Back with a short do and uh, with tons and tons of um, things to talk about. I don't even know where to start. Oh my god, I'm so light here. The light is crazy in here. Okay, I think it's better. So anyway, um, I don't know where to start, but first thing first, I just want to let you guys know that uh, we officially started to TTC again. And oh my god, this time it's very, very different. We have not told our kids yet, and uh, I am not planning on it. And it is weird because I talked about this before. We are extremely open with our kids. We don't lie to them. We don't hide uh, things uh, from them. We uh, we live in the open, so we don't have to hide anything. We don't have to lie. It makes life easier when you are, you know, honest. But this time, I decided I don't know. Let's just not talk to anybody about it because it brings so much stress. And uh, the kids, whether, whether I wanted or not, they were a little stressed out about this because I was stressed about it. And uh, anything that reflects on you reflects on them and I just don't want that to happen anymore. So uh, this month we decided to uh, TTC again and it is more because of my husband, remember guys? He didn't want to go for IVF and I was so pissed off at him. And we stopped TTCing for six months. The last time we, we tried was at the beginning of January. And we stopped everything. Cold turkey. Nothing at all whatsoever. So uh, we never talked really talked about it i never forgot about it i was always you know thinking about it but uh, once in a while my husband would say well we should do it again because you never know something might happen um i stopped everything i stopped taking my prenatal vitamins i stopped um checking on my cervix i stopped uh, my ovulation test i didn't uh, test for my uh, ovulation until just a couple months ago. No, well, I can't remember. Anyway, I uh, started checking for uh, ovulation signs because I had a lot of problems with bleeding. I was bleeding for four or five weeks and uh, I had a lot of problems because of my fibroids. So at that time, I wanted to know, am I still ovulating? So I started testing maybe three months ago to see I was not ovulating. I couldn't get a search. I tried for, I think it was more than three months ago. I tried two months and I didn't have a search. I didn't ovulate. So that worried me a little bit. So that's the reason why I kept on checking for ovulation. And uh, just a couple months ago, I tested. Well, that's not the way it goes. I was um, bleeding, bleeding heavily, and I was in a lot of pain. I had like contraction pain. I think I talked about that in one of my videos. And I went to the emergency, and uh, the doctor referred me to a specialist because he said that I have some mucosal um fibroids that is the fibroid that is growing inside the cavity of your uterus so he said with the, this kind of fibroid you couldn't get pregnant so um i uh i started testing because of all this pain and i realized that i was not ovulating so uh Right after I came back from uh, the emergency room, the bleeding stopped, I think a day or two later, the bleeding completely stopped and my period went back to normal, 27, 28 days. I mean, it's just like a miracle. I still have those fibroids, but my period came back just like before. No problem, no blood clot. When I was passing a lot and a lot of blood cloth I haven't been passing any blood cloth in during my period and I uh, checked a couple months ago I had big surge and I and one day I know that day I ovulated because I had a lot of pain which I never had before I could feel it 
and we were not trying at that time we didn't but I know I ovulated so uh, this month again I tried and I checked and I checked and I had uh, the surge um, I think it was cycle day 14 and I uh, showed my husband and I said oh my god look at that I didn't say that to him because I wanted to try again just to show him because I was not ovulating for a couple of months and I said look at that the surge is going up and it's getting darker and darker and he said well why don't we start trying again so we did so today I am on um, psycho day I think today I'm cycle day 17, no, 19, and I am 5 dBO. So I am taking it real easy. I should say I am trying to take it real easy. I don't want to get too overwhelmed, to uh, focus on uh, the signs and uh, what's not. So I'm trying to take it cool, but... If you've been trying to conceive or if you were trying to conceive, you know the way it is. It's never too far from your brain. It's always somewhere behind you even, even when you're trying to forget about everything. So um, I'm, I don't know what's going to happen. I was supposed to go see a specialist weeks ago. It takes forever. I mean, it, forever. I went to that emergency room with that pain and they found out I have several fibroids and uh, I had a lot of blood clots, a lot of pain, contraction pain and uh, nobody thinks it is that urgent to see me. So I went back to my family doctor to tell her, hey, it's been almost three months since I've been waiting to see a specialist. Can you please refer me to another doctor because the doctors in town they are so busy and they have so many patients they have people with cancer they have people with uh, bigger bigger problems those are the people they want to see so uh, there are other cities where you'll find doctors they are not as busy as in big cities where i am so i told her please refer me to another doctor and I cannot believe that I told her that she can send me to that same gynecologist that I had can you believe that that's how desperate I am because I want to see somebody that can remove those fibroids for me I never thought I would go back to that same doctor he made me waste two years of my TTC life where he told me that I had fibroids but the fibroid wouldn't stop me from getting pregnant when the fibroid is sitting right inside of my uterus and they say when you have a submucosal uh, fibroid it diminish your uh, chance to get pregnant by 70 percent and he told me I wouldn't have any problem to get pregnant I read so many uh, information about that and they say even if you get pregnant the chances are you will miscarry because sometimes uh, the, uh, the embryo will implant right on top of that uh, lump that is in your uterus and that lump doesn't have the fluffiness and it's not as cushiony as it should be and you will have a miscarriage or even if you get pregnant you go further you probably will have uh, uh, preterm labors and all kinds of things so uh, but also this but I said I would like to see him again because he's not that busy maybe he can help me out so that is where I'm at with TT saying I cannot believe I'm back guys I just realized that I stopped taking my prenatal vitamin so last night I got up and oh my god I have to take my prenatal vitamins and I got my mac out I got my folic acid out and I have to start taking them again so this is where I'm at guys I did not leave just because I didn't want to make any more videos it's just because I've been so overwhelmed and busy at my house doing some little renovations and that's why I have not made any videos so thank you for being patient with me thank you for uh, uh, watching my videos and uh, I hope you guys are doing well I hope you guys uh, so many people have 
so many of my subscribers they have been pregnant had their babies and some of them are trying for baby number two so i'm so happy for everybody and uh, i'm back in the wagon and who knows so again thank you for watching guys and i hope to talk to you again soon bye